So hey guys, what's up? Today in this video, we brought you the list of seven new features in Chrome which will make you a pro Chrome user. So in Chrome is one of the most widely used internet browser across the globe, and there are some features which most of us are not aware about. So in this video, we're gonna talk about seven features which will make you a pro Chrome user. So let's start. So the first feature is padlock. Supposingly you visit a site, uh, let's for example, let's visit wikipedia.com Yeah, so when you visit wikipedia.com or, or any other site, you can see the padlock icon beside the URL So when you click on it It will show you the site settings and the cookies in, used in the site So you can easily manage all these settings according to your preferences If you're using, if you think you are on a malicious site, just click on this padlock icon and see the the certificates, the permissions you have given to the sites, the cookies that the site stores. This can be quite help helpful in some of the cases in which the site is malicious. So you can have a full knowledge about what the site is using, or your data, your cookies, etc. So the second feature is autofill. You, if you, most of us have, are using autofill in our day-to-day -day life, but if, but if you are not aware about, so just go to this options on the right hand side go to settings and here you can see on the left hand side the autofill option uh, let's just take an example if uh, what is the use of this autofill feature let's go on a website uh, any website let's visit geeks for geeks uh, it's basically a site for programmers which where we can they can learn their concepts so let's go on login section yeah now as i don't have an account here i need to sign up so as as i go into the sign up tab when i click here it will show me all the list of the emails which i can use for signing up in this website not only this it can be used to fill lots of forms for example your address your phone number your email etc all you need to do is just go to settings and autofill set up the autofill option as per your preferences so the third feature in the, our list is pin uh, you might be using some of the websites frequently or every time you open your browser so what you can do is for example i visit wikipedia.com frequently so what i can do is i can just right click on it and select pin so what it does is it automatically loads the website in your background as, as soon as you open your browser so for example i close the browser now i reopen it as you can see I landed on my home page in the meanwhile the chrome in the background loads the wikipedia web page so I do not need to open the website again and again so it is quite helpful for some of you, some of you users so this was the feature number 3 now the other another feature is similar to this but it is much more easier that is adding, adding a shortcut to a desktop so if you are on a chrome and you visit wikipedia as soon as you log into your computer so what you can do is just open the wikipedia.org and just go on the options on the right hand side more tools and go to create shortcut as now it's, it's asking for the name of the shortcut yeah we want to name it as wikipedia.com and we want to open it as a new window and click on the create button now and as, as you can see on the desktop it has made a icon of the wikipedia and now as soon as i click on it it will directly land me into the wikipedia's home page so another feature is the guest mode in the chrome which can be enabled by clicking on the first you need to log in into your chrome as you will log in you will find your profile picture on the right hand side when you click on it you will find a guest option here so just click on it yeah guest option is similar to incognito mode where when you close this window all the your browser history is deleted your cookies are stored in this computer so this can be helpful if you are on someone's other pc and you don't want to mess with your data and fills so you can use guest mode over there and this can be helpful even in when you're giving your pc or laptop to someone and you don't want them to mess with your data so the another feature is tab search you can search within the website by directly from your chrome's url so what you need to do is for example we need to search for 
imagine dragons on youtube directly from google search bar so what you need to do is just type youtube and as you can see on the right hand side it has given the option the please press tab to search youtube so we are going to press tab so type here imagine dragons now it will directly land to the youtube page of imagine dragons so this saves some of your some of your time so the most important feature which can make you a pro user in chrome is using shortcuts and there are tons and tons of shortcuts which are given in chrome some of them i'll mention in this video and others i will link in the description box so some of the important shortcuts are when you press shift escape it will open this task manager which for chrome which you can use to monitor the memory or cpu used by tabs in the chrome if you are using a low end pc this might be helpful for you to check whether which tab is slowing down your computer etc so the another feature is if you press control shift t it will reopen the recently closed tab and if you press it again 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 it will open the tabs from a history another feature is you might not know about it when you type for example if you go the search bar and type google and press control plus enter it will automatic automatically type dot com for you and search for it the other feature is control shift delete when you press this combination it will directly land you to the clear browsing data page where you can clear your history the another feature is control f this is the one of the most common feature which chrome user uses so it is used for finding the words in pages so if, as soon as you press control plus f it will open a search bar where you can type anything and it will search within the page the other feature is control plus l which lands you in the search bar so as soon as you press your control plus l it highlights your search bar and there are some other features like control plus o opens a file control plus n opens a new window control plus w opens oh sorry close down the current window control shift open opens a new incognito tab control shift v opens the bookmark tab and hides it toggles between the bookmarks and other other list of shortcuts are listed in the description box down below follow all the features shown in this list you can become a pro chrome user so this was today's video hope you guys like the video and if it did help make sure to give us a like and not forget to subscribe our channel for further updates thanks for watching goodbye